going to show you real quick how to quickly and easily replace wheel cylinders. We're replacing these on this 99 Honda Civic because they're leaking. You need to expand the brake shoes, unbolt the wheel cylinder, unbolt your line and just swap it out. We're going to do that with using GM Big Spring tools. You can see with the GM Big Spring tool, we expanded the brake shoes to get them out of the way so we can unbolt it and easily swap out the wheel cylinder. I can hit on that when we get go back together. You can see with the GM Big Spring tool, expanding the brakes makes quick and easy removal and installation of the wheel cylinder. Get your bolt started first before you put the line on. You can see that I didn't use the line wrench when removing, but I use a line wrench when tightening. Go ahead and remove your GM Big Spring tool. It fits right. Clean it off the brake clean. Since all we did was replace the wheel cylinder, you can usually get by with a simple gravity bleed procedure. Gravity bleeding should be sufficient. Just crack the bleeder. Wait for the air bubbles to stop. Close it up. You should be good to go. Not all wheel cylinders are that easy to replace. Now you can see by spreading the brake shoes, it was much easier to pop that wheel cylinder out and the new one in. Uh, just keep in mind that they're not always that easy. And the wheel cylinder is a part that over time that will need to be replaced. You can also, in some cases, rebuild them. What's your opinion on that, Mike? Absolutely. I have no problems rebuilding a wheel cylinder, a master cylinder, or a caliper. The problem I run into is parts availability, actually finding the rebuild kits for them. Mm -hmm. Since you're in parts, is that something that you would get requested a lot, or is it something that you keep in stock? It's not something that's requested a lot or we keep in stock, although we can still get a lot of those parts. The thing you have to remember when rebuilding is make sure you have the right tools to do that with. The right tools also make sure the bore is correct, make sure there's no scarring, because at that point, if there is any scarring, it's going to need to be replaced. Exactly. Well, thank you for tuning in to Auto E-Clinic. Uh, look us up on Facebook at Auto E-Clinic. Go to our YouTube channel, Auto E-Clinic. Like us, subscribe to us. Great. And if you're over 18, don't go to Reach 21 to buy jeans. Just trust me. Does it work? <laughs>